We've bought an old cow farm in Sweden. Been in Berlin for eight and a half years, had this studio for six years. Amazing times, incredible friends, loads of music, just the best time ever. But it's time to move up and out to the countryside and build something new. Over the next two years or so, I'm gonna be documenting the whole thing every detail if you want to come along for the ride then subscribe to the channel and uh, you can see what we get up to anyway uh, let's do a quick tour so here we are flying above the farm so there's this uh, yellow farmhouse and a little red gatehouse thing uh, and then these three big barns, plus around a hectare or so of land and a little stream. And there's a lake five minutes walk away, which apparently has crayfish in it. But you can swim in there. It's around 50 minutes from Malmö, just tucked down in that bottom corner of Sweden, so not that far from Berlin, really. So to try and get my head around the whole thing, I thought I should try and build a model of it. it. Makes it much clearer in my mind and easier to show other people what I'm imagining and get input from other people. I think it's a good thing to do, building models. Better than computer models. Like you can actually like walk around it. And now you're gonna see the building transform into my model as if by magic. There we go. So this is the big red barn, which is going to be the new recording studio and uh, ceramics workshop, wood workshop. This bottom chunk is going to be the recording studio. It's got a nine metre high ceiling, super dramatic space. I'm going to do a similar thing to what I did here in Berlin. Uh, try and make it look like some kind of 60s TV studio. White lino floor again, but maybe with a bit more colors on the accent tiles. We're gonna take the roof off from the outside and insulate from the outside to try and keep all of these beautiful old timbers showing. It's really a magnificently dramatic space. I really can't wait to see this done. We're gonna have this balcony looking down into the live room. So we can basically have people come, maybe sometimes we'll do a concert there, or we could show a film with a live musical accompaniment. There's a local 1940s cinema in the village and uh, they were refurbishing and so I bought these 18 cinema chairs for a really good price. And uh, I even found a little cinema ticket rolled up underneath one of the armrests. On the other side of that wall, behind the uh, cinema seats, will be like a little bar. So when people come in to watch a band or something, they can grab a drink on their way through. And uh, it should be pretty cozy. Underneath that balcony thing is gonna be the control room and the booth for the recording studio. Very similar setup to what I have here much bigger though, two meters wider on the control room and the booth is bigger, big enough hopefully to wheel the grand piano in, which would be really cool. 
So the idea with this place is that it'll be one half a nutritional therapy retreat where people can pay to come and stay and work with Elsa on their gut health, eat amazing food from the garden, that kind of thing. And the other half will be this kind of factory of creativity where everything's really organized and set up beautifully to be efficient in making records or ceramics, furniture, products, all kinds of things. And we will invite people to come and stay for a week or two and we will design products and sell them through the website, through Kickstarter or through stores somewhere. So everyone makes a bit of money, the place sustains itself. So the other half of the big barn is gonna be the ceramics workshop and wood workshop. I've always loved ceramics. It was kind of my first thing that I was ever really into. And I can't wait to actually build a proper workshop where I can do that kind of thing. As well as a wood workshop, because I don't know if you've seen my workshop here in the studio in Berlin, but it is tiny and disorganized. Anyway, this is such a beautiful space. I mean, look at the ceiling, it's just magnificent. Uh, and up there on the right is the hayloft, which we'll get to in a minute, but this is just gonna be one big open space. So that's the wood workshop in that little box. So we can keep hopefully all of the noisy tools and shit in that room. Some stairs heading up to the uh, hayloft and above the wood workshop will be this other little platform thing. Uh, not sure what that'll be for. Yeah, so the hayloft. Another amazing space, five meters high ceiling. Like I said, we're gonna take the roof off from the outside and insulate from the outside. So we will hopefully keep all of these beautiful rafters intact and it'll just look super dramatic and beautiful. This is gonna be a real multi-purpose space, like a photography studio or a library or even a yoga studio. So just through this wall at the end of this middle barn, uh, there's going to be two bedrooms, one on top of the other. At the moment these rooms are there, but obviously we need to insulate them and turn them into rooms. But again, such a beautiful character and uh, we're going to keep it very simple. We don't have too much money to do this, so we're going to have to kind of basically keep it looking as uh, simple as possible. So underneath this hayloft, Downstairs is the old milking parlor, which is such a cool room. Uh, this is gonna be the kind of clean workshop, lab, maker space type thing where uh, people can do sewing or 3D printing or building models or prototyping stuff or whatever it is, just stuff which doesn't make too much of a mess. It's all gonna happen in that milking parlor room. So the big idea with this place is to try and make it run as completely as possible from solar power and wind power. Get heat from the ground, like they do a lot in Sweden, ground source heat pump. We're gonna dig a new water well. We're gonna have compost toilets. I read the other day that you can heat a greenhouse using the heat generated from your shit decomposing in a compost pile which to me sounds like a perfect little cycle. Hopefully this place can just exist, supporting and sustaining itself and the people that come and work and stay there without loads of energy having to be pumped in all the time. Just like this healthy, creative machine, which isn't a drain, it's actually just this little diamond that just sits there, you know? That's kind of the idea. This little lean-to at the end of the barn is gonna be like a laundry room and toilets and storage area kind of thing. And then we get to the third barn, which is gonna be the kitchen block, basically. Uh, cafe, restaurant, nutritional therapy, workshop, that sort of thing. Another beautiful room. Man, I can't wait to start clearing that up. All of these amazing green old pens, which I'm gonna turn into work tables. So yeah, some sort of 
kitchen, garden, cafe kind of thing. And Elsa can do her nutritional therapy workshops and seminars in there. And at the far end, we're gonna have a wood-fired oven to cook with, so super cozy in there. Upstairs from there is gonna be another couple of guest bedrooms. It's a very beautiful space up there, lots of head height and Again, we're going to take the tiles off from the outside and insulate from the outside to keep all of that character. The courtyard in between the three barns really, I think, is the kind of feature of this whole place. And uh, with that amazing view across that long field. This is going to be a big herb garden and outdoor seating area and another wood oven for making pizzas in the summer, that kind of thing. Okay, and so this is the land that comes with the, uh, with the farm, around 1.2 hectares, uh, which we're gonna turn into vegetable gardens, polytunnel, fruit trees, maybe a pond, some ducks, some chickens. So hopefully we can feed ourselves and the cafe with food from the garden. That would be pretty cool. This all sounds like such a cliche which is kind of nice because it means I keep hearing about a lot of people doing this kind of thing, which I think is a good thing because it feels like a good thing to do. And then lastly, we have this little gatehouse, which is going to be Elsa's nutritional therapy consultation room, office thing, and a couple more bedrooms for guests. Uh, so one downstairs and one upstairs in the loft. And you will get upstairs via this little staircase which I'm going to build in this middle section of the house which will also have access to its own little bathroom downstairs. That's the idea anyway. Elsa's office will be uh, full height. We're going to take out this low ceiling and uh, open it right out to the roof so it'll be a nice big high consultation room maybe with a little wood burner in there. The best thing about this whole thing is that 10 minutes walk up the farm track, hidden in the mist there on this film, is a ridge which is Söder Orson, an amazing national park in the south of Sweden. Full on beach forest and lakes and streams and mushrooms and Lord of the Rings and gruffalos and all of those guys. Can't wait to go and hang out up there. Anyway, I think that's just about it for now, so stay tuned. We're gonna try and go there at Christmas, if we're allowed to, and make some sort of start. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Um, I'm gonna really document everything about this. It's gonna be a pretty wild experience. So, lots of love to you. Look after yourselves, wish us luck, and I'll see you soon.